Now let's see how we use superposition to solve a circuit that has three power sources. And this process can extend to more than three. Um, but let me just show you an example of a circuit that we might use superposition to solve. So let's say we have a voltage source and some resistors and let's put a current source up here in this direction and here's our third source we'll call this B2 38 volts um, this is I1 we'll let this be 4 amps and then we'll give our resistors some value so suppose that's 6 that's 3 that's 5 this is 12 and this is 4 okay so um, here is a circuit with three sources we're going to use superposition to solve so that means that we want to evaluate the circuit with only one source in it at a time to turn off the other sources we're going to replace a current source with an open wire we're going to replace a voltage source with a closed wire so this is just going to be basically we're going to short this out and we're just going to remove this so that's the rules for turning off our sources so for step one let's consider the circuit with just V1 so we're going to replace I1 with an open circuit and we're going to replace V2 with a short circuit. That means our circuit looks like this. We have just V1 in and that's just a wire and our I one source is just gone. Okay, so um, for this particular circuit, we have a series parallel circuit. So we want to, suppose we're asked for the voltage drop across this five ohm resistor. So I'll label this as my V out. Okay, so we wanna do this for um, um, each source in at one time. So what we want to do is we want to solve this circuit, figure out what V out is, which is a voltage drop across this 5 ohm resistor. And this is going to be the contribution, V1's contribution to V out. And then we'll do that for the other sources. Okay, so the first thing we should do is let's find our equivalent for this circuit so we know how much current is being produced by our V1 source. So um, if you... This is six and three. If you imagine we took this four ohm resistor and we kind of just slid it along the wire over here, then you can clearly see that the 12 ohm resistor and the four ohm resistor are in parallel. Okay, so these ones are in parallel. So I can replace this with one resistor um, of value one over one over 12 plus one over four this is how we combine resistors in parallel, so that gives us three. So I can replace these two resistors with one three ohm resistor. And now I still have my five ohm resistor, there's my three ohm resistor, and there's my six ohm resistor. Okay, great, so that's my five ohm resistor. You can see that these two are in series, so I can replace these two with one resistor of value five plus three or eight. So this is gonna be an eight ohm resistor that I replace the five and the three with. And then I still have that in parallel with the three ohm resistor. And then I still have this six ohm resistor out here. Great, so then these two, since these are in parallel, I can replace them with one resistor of value one over one over three plus one over eight. So this one is going to be a 24 over 11 ohm resistor, 24 over 11. 
and that will be now in series with the 6 ohm resistor. So my equivalent circuit with all of my um, resistors kind of simplified is just going to be a 24 volt source connected to one resistor of value 90 over 11. Okay, so if I know, now I can use Ohm's law to see how much current is going into this circuit. So I'll let this be a label that is I, and I have um, Ohm's law, V equals I times R equivalent. So this is gonna be 24 is equal to I times 90 over 11. So this gives me that I is 44 over 15 amps. Great, so I've got the current that's being generated by that voltage source. Um, now, if I kind of consider what my circuit looks like, um, that means that this current that's coming out here is um, 44 over 15 amps. So this current is going to reach this node here. I'll label this as node A. And then we know by KCL that this is going to split down this branch and some of it's going to continue on in this direction. Okay, so um, we can, since we know the current going through this 6 ohm resistor, we can find how much voltage drop we lose at this 6 ohm resistor. So let's do that. Um, let me just recopy this here. So the current going through here is. 44 over 15, and this is 6 ohms. So by using Ohm's law, V equals IR, we have that 44 over 15 times 6 will give us the voltage drop across the 6 ohm resistor. So that gives me 17.6 volts. Great, so the voltage drop across here is 17.6 volts. Um, if I started with 24 volts here, as I go into my circuit, I lose 17.6. Then that means that once I get to this node right here, the voltage I have left over is going to be 24 minus 17.6. Okay, so um, this voltage at this node here is going to be um, 6.4. Um, so what I'm doing there is actually basically an application of KVL. So if you recall that, here's my 3 ohm resistor, by KVL, if we go around the loop and add up all the voltages, it should sum to zero, right? So KVL around this loop would be negative 24 plus um, the current going through here was 44 over 15 times six plus 44 over 15 Oh, I'm sorry, that's not the same current because some of it's going to split. So let's just call that V3 for the voltage drop across this 3 ohm resistor. So we know that's going to be equal to 0, right? So this is negative 24 plus 17.6 plus V3 is equal to 0. So that means that V3 is 6.4. Okay, so the voltage drop across this resistor here is... 6.4 volts. And um, what I said before that if we start at 24, as we go in this direction, we lose 17.6. So once we get to this node, we have 6.4 left. So that 6.4, um, we would lose that 6.4 as we go across this resistor. And now we're back um, at the end of our loop. Okay, so we now know that 6.4 volts goes across this resistor, so that means we can use Ohm's law to determine the current that takes this branch. All right, so let's do that. Um, v equals IR using Ohm's law. Our V is 6.4, and our current, I'll call that I3 because it's going through the 3 ohm resistor, and this is going to be 3. So therefore, my I3, 6.4 over 3, gives me, um, we'll leave that in a fraction so we don't lose any digits here, 32 over 15. Okay, so at this loop, 
here's our node, there's our 3 ohm resistor, there's our 5 ohm resistor. We have that 44 over 15 amps of current goes here. We have that 32 over 15 amps of current goes here, right? So this is 44 over 15 equals this current. This current, which I labeled I3, we just found to be 32 over 15. So we know by KCL that the sum of currents going in is equal to the sum of currents going out of the node. Great, so that means that the currents we have coming in is this 44 over 15, and the current we have going out is 32 over 15, and then this unknown current. So I'll label this current, just to be consistent, I'll call this I5, because that's the current that's going through the 5 ohm resistor. All right, so let's use KCL to figure out what that is. Um, I through the 6 ohm resistor is equal to I3 plus I5 by KCL. We know this is 44 over 15. That's equal to 32 over 15 plus I5. So that means that um, 12 over 15 is equal to I5. That reduces to 4 over 5, which is 0.8 amps. So if we look back at our circuit, we now know this current right here. So if we know that 0.8 amps is going through this 5 ohm resistor, we are now ready to solve for V0. Okay, great. So using Ohm's law, V0 is equal to um, that current that goes through the 5 ohm resistor times the 5 ohms itself. This is going to be 0.8 times 5, so V0 will be 4 volts. Okay, so this means that um, a V0 total, 4 volts, comes from V1. Okay, so when we have just V1 in our circuit here, this is going to provide 4 volts to this 5 ohm resistor. Okay, great. So that concludes step one. Now we're just going to continue this, but with another source in. So for step two, now what we want to do is we're going to put back our I1 source and we're going to remove V1 and V2. Okay, so for step two, let's consider the circuit with only I1 in, and we will remove V1 and V2 by replacing them with wires. Okay, so we're just going to short out V1 and V2. That's the rule for um, removing voltage sources in superposition. Okay, so our circuit 